Um, Jamel Bowie, who writes for The Times, uh, makes a very succinct point at the beginning of a column he has published today. He says, at this point, there's very little distance between the fringes of the modern Republican Party and the elites who lead it. I mean, is that the truth or is that the truth? That is the truth to the 10th power. That is really the truth. There are some superficial differences among the rank-and-file Republicans and the crazy son-of-a-bitches who are Christian fascists who lead that party. But members of the Republican elite are so often, if not totally, always now, the, 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 the leaders of the Republican elite are very often the fringe figures that Jamel Bowie is talking about. Didn't that happen quick? She is an influential and well-connected Christian fascist activist who's been hanging out in Washington, D.C., doing her dirty shit since the late 1980s. And if you needed anything to convince you that Ginny Thomas is a biatch, it would be her her total support of the nut fuck Donald Trump. I mean, you talk about an odd couple. Those two? Oh. And and then these emails and texts that have been revealed now where she's urging the orange vomit's chief of staff, this this whiny ass little prick Mark Meadows. Boy, isn't he manly, huh? Oh my god. But she's urging Mark Meadows to do everything in his perceived power to destroy the results of the presidential election and keep the orange vomit in power. Jenny Thomas was urging sedition, treason. Why the fuck is she still walking the streets? What is going on? Mary Garland, where are you? God damn. I mean, the, the committee has provided so much information of the subverting of the democratic system in this country. Uh, Mr. Attorney General, what the fuck are you waiting for? Good God. And, and if you read what has been published, her text messages to this miserable little shit, Mark Meadows, where she included her, her wish, her hope, her prediction, her declaration that the Bidens and the ballot fraud co-conspirators, as she called them, were awaiting trial before military tribunals being held on barges in Guantanamo Bay. This bitch is cray cray. Do you understand? She's nuts. On Biden, on barges, <laughs> waiting to be tried. Jesus Christ. And she's also an ardent, devout following of, of these insane fuckers, the, the, the QAnon screwballs. And, and remember what these Q bastards believe. And listen, psst, come here. There are millions of these fuckers roaming around, these QAnon slugs. Maybe your neighbor. You know where I live? Oh, you don't know where I live. <laughs> you know, I live in the foothills of the North Georgia mountains. Um, I can go onto my back porch. Okay, not my back porch. I can go to the front. There's too many woods back there. But I can stand on the front porch and throw rocks and probably hit two or three houses inside of which reside crazy fuckers, Trump supporters, QAnon types, you know, the Daniel Scappin studio is not that far from the district that sent Marjorie cue ball crazy fuck uh, Taylor to the House of Representatives. But anyway, I digress. 
the cue balls, including the bitch Jenny Thomas, believe that Trump is fighting a messianic war against the deep state. (laughs) The deep state. You know, that's where all the satanic pedophiles reside, including the Jew, George Soros. He's the leader. These people are so anti-Semitic. I mean, if if they ever really got centralized control of power, it would be marching to the ovens again. That's how insane these fucks are. I mean, they really, really are. God, I've been saying this for how long? I know regular listeners of this podcast probably think, Malloy, Jesus, bleeding, Christ, will you lighten up a little bit? Sorry, I can't. I really do see these fascist Christians as being the penultimate threat to life on this planet. These are demon worshipers. Crazy people fighting a messianic war against the deep state. Oh, my God. If these son of a bitches want to fight that kind of war, I can point them in the right direction to the capitalist pigs that are killing everything. And they're not deep state. They're right up front. Everybody talks about them. The numbers are published. Oh, we have 600 billionaires in the United States. Ooh, Elon Musk is going to be the first trillionaire. Deep state my ass. These people are right there staring at Americans and the rest of the population of the planet 24-7 saying, fuck you, I don't care. I'm going to continue to exploit and rape and pillage Because a billion dollars is not enough. A thousand billion is not enough. Ten thousand billion is not enough. A trillion, 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 trillion billion is not enough. So, Jesus Christ. So, the bitch Ginny, who, who is a QAnon follower, believer, She probably wants to lead that group of crazy people. But she's also the wife of Uncle Clarence Thomas on the Supreme Court. Now, of course, and Jamel Bowie points this out. He writes, and while Justice Thomas is in no way responsible for the actions of his spouse, he writes, it does beggar belief to think that Thomas is unaware of her views and actions including her work to keep Trump in office against the will of the electorate. Yeah, well, you know, Jamel Bowie is pointing out the obvious. What are we supposed to do? We're supposed to say, well, Jenny Thomas has the right to say and do anything she wants. Horseshit! She has to be like Caesar's wife. Beyond reproach. Jenny Thomas since you are married to the longest-serving Supreme Court Associate Justice currently. It's time for you to shut your fucking mouth and sit down. You go write a book. Tell us about the deep state. But shut the fuck up and quit trying to get your claws into the flesh of people close to Donald Trump. You wicked goddamn woman. Oh, my God, this woman drives me crazy. And this is nothing new for me. Ginny Thomas has been salt in my wounds for 30 years. She's so fucking evil, just flat out evil, like Trump, like Putin, like all of these fascist son of a bitches, especially the ones who profess to be Christians. Ooh, watch out. But as far as Uncle Clarence not being responsible for Jeannie's actions, um, beyond that, what there is here in Ginny Thomas, a very high-profile Christian fascist activist, demon, who holds in her own personal belief system and acts on 
and promotes these insane conspiratorial bullshit fringe ideas. And of course, she's not alone. Oh, Ginny. Jamel writes this. Like Ginny Thomas, Attorney General William Barr is the mainstay of the Republican establishment in Washington, a consummate insider with decades of political and legal experience. His, William Barr's, service under Ronald Reagan in the White House led to his appointment as head of the Office of Legal Counsel under George Herbert Walker Bush. And from there, William Barr was appointed Deputy Attorney General And then in 1991, Attorney General, and he returned to public office in 2019 to serve a second stint as Attorney General, this time under Trump. Now, Bowie points that out because there's no reason to think that these traditional conservative Republican credentials that Barr has somehow preclude fringe horseshit conspiracy ideas. They don't. They don't. An example, Jamel writes this. In a November 2019 speech sponsored by the Federalist Society, Barr spoke at length on his vision of executive power under the Constitution. In his view, the framers, quote, well understood that their prime antagonist was an overweening parliament and that their aim at the Constitutional Convention in 1787 was to create a powerful unitary executive with the singular authority of a monarch. This is a former attorney general speaking. The singular authority of a monarch. And then he added this, Barr did, quote, To my mind, the real miracle in Philadelphia that summer was the creation of a strong executive, independent of and co-equal with the other two branches of government. End quote. But Barr concedes the fact of of so-called checks and balances written into the Constitution. But according to Bowie, he insists that properly understood, the executive branch has limitless authority across every area of government. In uh, in William Barr's view, Congress has no right to challenge claims of executive privilege. And the courts have no right to limit the president's power. Barr said this, this is a quote. The Constitution is designed to maximize the government's efficiency to achieve victory, even at the cost of collateral damage that would be unacceptable in the domestic realm. The idea that the judiciary acts as a neutral check on the political branches to protect foreign enemies from our government is insane. End quote. What the fuck is he talking about? This is the kind of bullshit that the QAnon crazy people come up with all the time. Foreign f- foreigners. Dark-skinned people, people with accents. Uh, uh, you got to watch out for them. What Barr is describing there is not a president. He's describing a king. And if Ginny Thomas, the bitch, had her way, she would be the king. King. No, not queen. King. She would be the king. But what, what Barr was saying, what Ginny Thomas believes, is a pumped-up version of Trump's belief that under Article 2 of the Constitution, he, the orange vomit, had, quote, I'm quoting Bob, Bill, Bob Barr, or not Bob Barr, but William Barr, he had, quote, the right to do whatever he wanted as president. Now, end quote. Now, that may not be QAnon, but would you consider that fringe? But that's the point. It isn't anymore. It's mainstream Christian fascism. 
a.k.a. Republicans. That's their belief. But that's always been central to, to the scum who took over the Christian religion 2,000 years ago and said, fuck Jesus, I mean, fuck him, whatever he had to say about, oh, turn the other cheek, oh, yeah, right, okay. Do unto others as you would... The Sermon on the Mount? Bullshit. That never happened. And they turned it in, Christianity turned it into this fascistic power trip that starts by saying, it starts by saying, if you don't believe what we believe, you are going to burn, burn for eternity. You are going to suffer pain and torture that you can't even comprehend. But that's what's waiting for you if you don't accept 100% of what we tell you. Now, what would you call that, True Seeker? You can call it Jenny Thomas's view on, on um, uh, the way things are, or Christianity's view, or fascist Christianity, or Tr Putin's view, or any Nazi fucker that you want to come up with. But Christian fascism is what I call it. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.